Hi, welcome to my channel. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to open any external website uh, on Android and iOS devices using Ionic framework. This approach is very useful, especially if you want to create, for example, a button with a link to external website. What I'm going now is uh, I created uh, I created a blank application and now I'm running it uh, on my uh, Android uh, emulator to show you how does it work. As you can see, my demo application has just started. So the first approach of uh, opening um, a link in a system in the phone browser is to use uh, JavaScript directly in uh, HTML, template, HTML template. So we can do this by uh, add iron button um, control, let's say with text open uh, link um, and uh, let's say HTML template and we have to add on click uh, on click um, listener like this so as you can see it looks similar to native javascript window open function uh, the difference is that uh, as a target we have to set system instead of uh, blank let's say and we have to add uh, another parameter location equals yes at the end and as you can see uh, we have to uh, return false uh, to not to propagate the event mm, to not to propagate propagate the event so that's the first approach and let's see it uh, if it works as you can see I click the button and as you can see my block was opened so everything works perfect the second solution is very similar to the first one the difference is that uh, in the second solution we instead of uh, creating on click listener uh, directly in template we use uh, click listener from written in TypeScript that's the only difference so let's prepare a button for a second solution like let's add some text like open link and TypeScript method and let's find Click event uh, to method uh, open, let's say, link in system browser. Okay, and I'm going to pass my website here. So let's go to TypeScript file of our page. So let's create the method. Okay. A string. Okay, and um, what we have to do? We have to call exactly the same uh, method. I mean, window open, and we have to pass URL here as a first parameter, and we have to pass the system as a target and location yes as a first. Um, for us as a third parameter okay so let me save it and okay I'm 
going to restart the application to see uh, to see the result. something is wrong okay I forgot to save HTML uh, template as you can see uh, we have uh, one more button and when I click the button my block uh, open um, opened in a system browser so as you can see everything works like a like a harm so um, that's all what I have uh, for you for today and if you don't want to miss any further videos you can subscribe to my channel so um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again